Welcome to Get Up and Go Outdoors. I'm your host, Lance Latremba, and today we're going to show you guys a quick and easy survival tip on um, how to make a quick survival shelter. And your first process is going to be finding a spot. So what we did is we chose pine branches because you pretty much got pine needle tea right in your back door. Plus, pines provide lots of shelter from the rain and wind, so this is a good choice. Uh, make sure your west is blocked off pretty good. See, ours is blocked off pretty good on all sides, so this would be a really good spot to start the fort. So these are some of the items that you would want to have if you're in a survival situation, so good to carry in your car or anything else where you could possibly enter a survival situation on a hike or something. Some twine, preferably paracord would be better, but that's all we have today. And then a knife, a nice knife like this. This one has a waterproof case inside that can hold matches, which is key to warmth and string and everything else. So that's a really good knife. And then a hatchet is also a really good idea. That can chop tree down and get you firewood, get you a shelter, get you away from the rain and heat. So these are our preferable survival items. All right, here Landon's cleaning out all the branches. So then we can set up the fort and so we can get these out of the way. So then your next part is you're going to want to find some frames for the ceiling. So what we did is we took some posts that we cut down a little while ago. So we have them and then these are going to be your ceiling frames. It depends how long yours is. Ours is about six to eight feet. And then we're going to put, so find about four posts like this for the ceiling. So here Landon's cutting a piece of wood because he's going to make a shovel so we can dig our hole for our post. And then we're going to line the posts up against the trees and make sort of a shelter. Here we're driving in our post, so then we can dig a hole to put our main post. And there you got a good sized hole. Check to see if this one. And you can drive your post down. So we have our post slammed into the ground. It's nice and solid. And we put another piece next to it. And we're going to tie them together. So this is the frame of our fort. We have the post driven in. And then we use the other branches on the side and we put other posts in there. So this is going to be our frame, it's going to be our ceiling. So we need a ceiling to keep us dry if any rain comes in. And yeah. So the thing we're going to be doing to secure this is tie an X knot. So I'm going to take this like so. I'm going to be going around. And then just trying to keep everything as tight as possible. And trying to make crossover knots in a form of an X. On this side I can see an X and then that will secure everything that's tied in. So if you don't have twine or you run out like we did, then you can go and you can braid some grass together like Landon's doing here and you can make your own string really strong. So this is where we're at with the shelter. Once we got the frame up you can stack sticks to the side and then you can start weaving in weeds and grass. As you can see um, we got grass in here and the grass cover is really thick. The weeds cover um, thicker than the sticks. So it depends at how much of a survival situation you're at or if you're just building a fort or something with this tactic how much you want to do. Right now we got time, so we're going to probably thatch the roof with grass, so it'll make it more waterproof. And for the walls, you could put walls on it if you want, but we're not going to need to because we have a nice pine tree thing, so it should it's pretty protected in here. Okay, so now that we got the roof on, we're going to start thatching. So for thatching, we're going to take some grass and I'll bend it in half, and then I'll stack it up up there. 
grab some more. And then once we got all of the first base done, then I'll stack it on top of that farther in. Because then it gets layered on top. Alright, so the whole fort is thatched and the bottom is cleaned off. So we have a nice floor to sleep on, not all pokey. And now we're just going to throw some more needles up to make sure it's extra waterproof. As you can see, barely anything's falling through, but it's just to cover up any other holes that there might be between the grass and make it even more waterproof. Thank you guys for watching Get Up and Go Outdoors, how to make a simple survival shack. As you can see, you can sit in here and you'll stay nice and dry. You can put a fire right here for heat and sleep right by the fire. This is a great survival tool to learn to have, so I hope you guys try this. Also funded make forts. The roof is completely waterproof. So thank you guys for watching. Get up and go outdoors. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And as always, remember to get up and go outdoors.